Okay, in this video we're going to look at kind of another fundamental idea with vectors, and that is uh, when do we consider if two vectors are equal? And the answer to that is uh, we say two vectors are equal if they have the same components. So what this kind of says is it says vectors can be considered exactly equal. It's sort of in, you know, independent of where they are in the plane, just so long as they have the same components. So maybe um, let's look at this first little vector, the one that starts at 1, 0 and stops at 2, comma 2. Maybe I'll call that vector v. So vector v, we could find its component form. We would subtract the x-coordinates. Again, uh, we take the, the, the stopping point minus the starting point. And then we'll do the same thing with the y-coordinates. We'll take the sort of the, the y-coordinate you finish at and subtract away the y-coordinate that you started with. So for vector v, we would get that this simply has components 1, 2. Well, maybe I call the next one vector u. Notice I think the same thing's going to happen. If we subtract the x-coordinates, we'll get 5 minus 4. If we subtract the y-coordinates, we'll get 2 minus 0. Hey, so that vector has components 1, 2. So vector v and vector u are considered exactly equal. They're the same vector. Uh, maybe I'll call the last one vector w. So vector w, I would take 8 minus 7, and then we would do 2 minus 0. Again, uh, that vector would have components of 1 and 2. So all three of these vectors, we would say, yes, they are equal. Okay. So again, it doesn't matter that they're sort of uh, situated in different points in the plane. They all have the same uh, magnitude, if you calculated their magnitude. And they're all same. They're all pointing off uh, in the same direction.